Hey there guys, it's me Rochella. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a speed build, specifically using the new Star Wars pack that just came out. This ended up being a steampunk mansion, and it wasn't supposed to be this big when I started the build, but the reference image I was using made me want to make it three stories tall, so you can imagine that this build is actually quite large. I started off by trying to get the shape right, and I know that a lot of steampunk-esque builds have very interesting shapes, so I wanted to include a tower on the side, which I actually end up changing later into a more octagonal shape. As you can see right now, I'm adding support beams and I'm trying to decide which ones look the best and I think I end up going with the cats and dogs version. I wanted to make sure that the structure looked like it had supports and wasn't just floating, but I know that a lot of houses like this tend to overhang and have weird overlapping structures that you don't normally see because they are fantasy homes, but I still wanted to make it look as if it was something that could be built possibly in the real world. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, almost a third of my video today is going to be the exterior because of the funky shape that I ended up creating. I experimented a lot, a lot of trial and error, and I think that it's important to include that in videos like this so that you guys can see that, hey, I'm not perfect, I make mistakes too, and I don't always know exactly what I want to do, so a lot of it is me adjusting the house, going back and removing things, adding things, making bump outs slightly larger, or making the house slightly smaller. I also did play around with the roofing a lot, and I think I'm pretty happy with how the roofing turned out because I know roofing can be really daunting. But what you can see me doing here is just fine the structure of the house. I'm not going to be keeping these assets the same. I'm going to be changing their colors and deciding what color scheme we want to use later on as the build develops, but I think it's important to not have your final draft as you're going on because it's not fun to restrict yourself like that. You should just try to get the concept down first and then go back and change the colors of things. The stairs that you see me using are the Star Wars stairs from the new pack, and I gotta say I'm not very happy with the swatches. A lot of the items have very earthy tones, but there's not a lot of variation. I definitely like a black and white swatch for all of my items. Now I'm trying to pick a foundation, and I decided to go with a deck, a raised deck feeling, because I don't know, it felt kind of steampunk. And I know that there might be people like, you don't even know what steampunk is. Well, guess what? I don't care. I'm just going off of my version of what I think steampunk looks like. I know there's probably like very exact specifications and styles that I just don't understand because I don't get into stuff like that. But this is my, my vision of steampunk, okay? <laughs> I have my cat on my lap right now and I gotta say it's oddly comforting because I've never really done voiceovers before. I hope that this isn't too terrible. Uh, but anyways, I really wanted this house to feel patched together. So when I start getting to the siding and the outer wallpaper, I want you guys to like look for and judge me on how I did with that. I was trying to use a lot of different metals and I wanted to keep a neutral earthy tone to this house. So I know that a lot of the metals that came with eco lifestyle are very vibrant and saturated. So it made me upset because none of them seemed to work right. I wanted these like dingy, dusty tones, but I did have a few pops of colors here and there. I actually cut out a large chunk of my deciding over this because I kept going back and forth on the colors I wanted to use. I was in a Discord call with a friend last night and she was helping me make decisions on my style and I was asking her for feedback and my mind just kept changing a lot. So I cut out a lot of footage of me just going back and forth, you guys. So you're welcome for that. So if there are any weird cuts here and there, it's usually me just kind of exploring the new pack and seeing what we have. So you might see some weird cuts later on, but honestly, I was just seeing what items we had and half the time I didn't even know like what the items were or what they were supposed to be. So it's kind of just like a cluttered mess on the inside. I apologize in advance if you had any expectations of the inside of this build. It's a, uh, it's something, we'll, we'll go with that. I guess you guys will see when we get there. <laughs> So we are about to get into window placing and again, same story, it took me a very, very long time to try to find windows that worked with the new Star Wars windows because they're just so unique and hard to match with anything else and I didn't want to cover the entire build in the same windows. So I went around and I tried to play around with changing the windows to different colors because I was thinking like some of them might be more rusted over than others. I really wanted this build to have a colorful, like whimsical steampunk feel to it. So I went around and I played with a lot of color changing on windows. I cut it all out for you guys. I left a little bit in, but honestly, like the majority of the time I spent on this build was me going back and forth on decisions. Actually, I think it'd be fun for you guys to try to guess how long this build was in the comments down below. Let's see if any of you guys can actually guess how many hours this build took me. So yeah, let me know. How many hours do you think 
I recorded for. I think coming up, I'm about to pull out the Island Living windows and doors, which I liked the idea of merging them with the Star Wars windows and doors because they had the same like slatted theme. And I actually ended up using Island Living items a lot in this build because they had a lot of oranges and I think it went well with our vibe. Also, it took me forever to figure out that I deleted that roof, by the way. I had no idea. I was very tired. So like, I've literally been building for about an hour and I had no idea I deleted that roof. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I eventually settled for the Strangerville windows because I just like the vibe of them and they give me steampunk feel. But again, I cut out a lot of the footage of me finding placement for them because let's be honest, this is a very weird house. So it took me a long time to figure out where the windows looked good and also what colors I should make them. I think I went back and forth on like an orange and a brown quite often. So yeah, there was just a huge skip there to where I had spent so much time just messing around with windows. And now we hop on into the interior. Wow, the exterior took me almost six minutes. Amazing. But hey, I think it looks good, so I'm pretty happy with it. I started by doing the downstairs floor plan, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. The kitchen took me a long time to figure out because I decided to put it in the back right corner, which was such a weird shape. So I ended up cutting out the practically 30 minutes of me fiddling with counter placement and stuff like that so that you guys wouldn't have to deal with watching that. It was kind of painful. So we cut to where I have the counters already placed. Simply trying to form a kitchen here and it's not going very well, but I think that the reason why I struggled so much with this was because it's not your average house. I was pushed way out of my comfort zone using items that I've never used before. I mean, the Star Wars items are very new, so I spent a lot of my time making this video looking through the items that I had, and I feel like once I familiarize myself more with the items, I will definitely like have more of a concept of what I want to build in the future. So look forward to another Star Wars steampunk inspired build from me in the future, or at least an industrial build because I think it would be fun, but I'll probably make it a lot more of a tiny home, maybe not a mansion. So now I'm going around and placing doors and completing the floor plan because I hadn't gone to the upstairs floor plan yet. So you'll see me here placing some walls and getting some rooms planned out. The funny part is, is that I almost forgot that there was a third floor to this house, so I had gotten the entire floor plan done, and then I stopped and realized that I needed another set of stairs, so you'll see me here panically placing the stairs very quickly to make sure I get that put in my build. And now we're back downstairs in the kitchen working on some detailing and also the dining area. I would just like to apologize by the way, in this entire build I tend to jump around a lot which is not normal. Usually I like to finish a room before moving on but because I was exploring the new pack I kept finding new furniture items that I was like "Ooh, this would look good over here, this would look good over here and yeah my brain is just kind of all over the place so please buckle your seatbelt, it's a bumpy ride. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the Star Wars pack is a lot of clutter and items that wouldn't be conventional in normal builds. So I had to go around and use items from different packs a lot more than I thought I would have to. So you'll probably recognize items and be like, that's not the new pack. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't do it without using other packs. Like literally so many of the items are just clutter or random electronics that have no business being in a Sims world. So if you're thinking about building in this pack or buying this pack to build, I would maybe reconsider unless you have like a niche build in mind. Well anyways, I did really like placing the clutter randomly without a care in the world because I had no idea what some of the items were for or what they did, so I kind of just made it feel like a hoarder's house, like maybe a treasure trove just of weird gadgets and gizmos that were steampunk-esque, so a lot of this footage is me just using the clutter a lot and I did have fun with that because there was no pressure to put things in specific places. If there's one redeeming feature of this pack, it's the plants. And I'm not just talking about the house plants, there's also some new outdoor landscaping that we'll get to later that's really really good and I do like the meshes a lot. But the plants that came with the pack as well are also pretty cool and I feel like I could use them in modern builds a lot, so yeah, thumbs up for that one. I randomly jumped to the outside of the build at this point to do some random like placement of these weird rugs they are, but I thought that they would look cool as terraforming, so I played around with them and ended up coming out with a pretty cool shape that I'm pretty happy with, and this ends up being kind of like our back garden terrace area, and I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty cool, and I feel like there's a lot of creative potential with these items. You guys will also be excited to know that I didn't cut the landscape out of my video today, so at the end you will get a full 
unedited landscaping experience, so get ready you guys! Oh, and right now I'm trying to cover this ugly knob that came up through the floor. It's part of the column down below, and I really liked the vibe that the steampunk column gave, so I was like, let me just hide this with clutter. Uh, now moving on to some wall clutter, which I do really like a lot of the wall items that came in this pack, and I was a pretty big fan of the lights that came as well. There were so many lighting options, you guys should definitely check them out. A lot of new hanging lights. And yeah, this is just more of me going all over the place and adding decorations here and there. I am so sorry. I bet you guys have some minor whiplash by now. Maybe you should get your next check after watching my video. But one thing I am very proud about is this hanging thing that I made. I put four lights and then later on I added some plants into this as well. I just thought it looked really cool. Now we're finally moving on to actually putting in some kitchen appliances and there were no Star Wars appliances so I tried to stick with what felt steampunk and coppery and I just kind of went with what felt right. I'm so sorry, my cat is being very rude right now. You guys are gonna have to give me a moment. It's like she knows I'm recording, so she's trying to make a scene. You're fine. You're literally fine. Get over it. Oh my gosh, she's a drama queen. At least Shuckle isn't making a scene today. He's my turtle, by the way, and he likes to make appearances in my videos quite often. He tends to like move his rocks around and stuff like that, and it just makes a terrible noise on the side of his tank wall, and it's kind of rude, but he's having a good time just sunbathing right now like a good boy. Anyways, now we're moving on to this weird corner area, and I really had no idea what to do with this space, so I decided to go on with the theme of these people being weird hoarders and just having weird gadgets and gizmos everywhere, so I put a little display case here and I had quite fun decorating it and just some random items and assets here and there just to make it look very cluttered and very random. I'm not sure about you guys, but I tend to gravitate a lot towards plants when I'm trying to clutter items. What about you? What do you use for clutter? Let me know in the comments. The time has finally come. We are about to enter the first bedroom and I ended up using a lot of island living items in here. Again, I mentioned earlier that I thought the color schemes matched up and also kind of the weird manufactured vibe of it. I'm not sure why. I can't really put into words what was going through my head but it just looks nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that I made a good decision using the island living items in here? Star Wars didn't come with any beds or any bedroom furniture, so I kind of had to wing it here. You guys know that I am a rug person in The Sims 4. I do quite use, I do in fact use rugs a lot. And I gotta say, the rug that I'm using in the room right now, I really like because it's multi-purpose. You can use it as a rug or you can make it into an industrial grate. And I thought that was pretty cool. Now we're moving on to the desk and I thought that this person would have a computer and I was trying to make it feel very very old timey so I used a very old computer. I gave them a lamp and not even electricity to try to give off those vibes and when it came over to the sitting furniture I went with Island Living just because it matched and it looked very manufactured and the tones just felt right. Very coppery, very bronze, steampunk. And then I gave them a few posters because I figure you know sometimes you gotta have a little bit of fun right so I wanted to add a little bit of personality to the room and then I went around and added plants and weird pots and random items again and more clutter just to make the room feel maybe like somebody was a collector in here or a hoarder and had these weird trinkets and tokens that they enjoyed showing off in their room. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. I'm gonna be brutally transparent with you guys. I completely cut all footage of me doing the bathrooms out of this video because it was already so long and I think that there's nothing too exciting about watching me furnish a bathroom. So if you're looking for bathroom furnishing, this is not the video for you. I'm so sorry. Right now we're working on the landing space upstairs and I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like this area very much because I didn't know what to put here. I was like, what am I gonna do? It's a steampunk star where's house normally I might put like another computer desk or a TV or a place for the family to play games but it was such a weird house I just didn't know what to do so I was just placing random items everywhere if there's one thing I do like about this space it's the cool object that I made on the wall right there and that's it next up is the office and I don't think that this computer is actually functional but I thought it looked really cool and it came with the Star Wars pack so I wanted to use it this space could also be converted into another bedroom because it is Jack and Jill to the bathroom that's in the corner but I had four bedrooms already so I wanted to make an office oh my gosh I'm so sorry I'm behind I'm not used to doing these speed builds I'm on the kids bedroom now hello this is where children dwell oh my goodness I yeah don't even ask about the rug thing I don't really know at this point I think I was starting to descend into chaos and delusion because it was very late when I made this build. The pack got released at 11 p.m. my time, so by the time I finished this build, 
Actually, I'm not gonna tell you guys. I asked you to guess in the comments when I finished the build last night and how long it took me, so I'm not telling you. You guys just tried to get the answer out of me. Me, me, me. Guess what? I'm too smart. I wanted this kid to look like they were into robotics, so I added a lot of weird robots and droids and stuff like that, and... I think I like how the vibe came out. I don't know. I was kind of experimenting here. Please don't judge me too much. I also hope that you guys can't hear the like thunder and lightning in my background. It's been like really cold and rainy recently. It feels like fall is already here. I already have my sweaters out and I'm wearing fuzzy socks. Even though it still is in September, I don't know what's going on. What about you guys? What's the weather like where you are right now? I know a few of my friends in Texas are dealing with still over 100 degrees of heat and I don't miss that. Now we're almost done with this kid's room, we're just adding a few more finishing details and again, I really do like the wall items that came with this pack. I think that they're pretty nice and I could see myself using them in multiple builds that aren't Star Wars based. And then we'll go ahead and hop over to this office that I half finished earlier, but that's just how my brain works. I tend to hop all over the place and I'm so sorry, but we'll be finishing up the office, adding some more structures and wall clutter in here as well. I decided to end up putting some bookshelves in the office because bookshelves just go in offices. I don't know. That's what I always do in my Sims build. And then I end up, usually at the end of my rooms, I end up adding plants and other greenery just because I think it looks nice and kind of adds a lot to the room. And with our coppery palette, I think the green contrasts very nice with it. And again, there is just a random stockpile of random clutter in the corner. What more could you want in a build? I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is a lot different than streaming because I normally stream on Twitch. I'm very new to YouTube and I'm not used to talking literally nonstop for this video is going to be 24 minutes long and it's getting really tiring. What do I even say anymore? It's like, I'm placing an item here. I'm doing this here. Like, what do you guys want from me? Also, it's getting close to dinner time and I think I'm getting some Mexican food tonight, which I'm really excited about. I'm probably gonna go with my classic bean and cheese burrito. I know, I'm pretty boring, but I don't know. I just really like refried beans. They bring me great joy. Sorry, I got a little bit sidetracked. I think that this is probably my favorite room out of all of the rooms in the house because it has that weird octagonal tower at the end of it. And also I really enjoyed the clutter that I put in this room. I put like weird vents and random pipes and stuff like that. It felt very steampunk. And it still had this like very cozy homey feel. And I don't know how I made industrial feel cozy, but here we are. It's cozy, I don't know what to tell you. I don't make the rules. And finally, we are here in the last bedroom. I gotta say, I feel like we've been on this journey together for a very long time, but on my side of the things, I've been editing this for hours. I'm just very slow because I'm new to YouTube. It's taking me very, very long to go through all this footage. I'm sure that other YouTubers probably get this done pretty quickly, but I'm over here suffering, let me tell you. I enjoy it though, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun. Now, this room I had a lot of trouble with the structure of because it's freaking massive. What was I thinking? Why did I make a mansion? I'm never doing a mansion again, I hate it. Uh, so I just had to put random items in it that made it look good, and I think I did an okay job doing that. I don't know, what do you guys think? I put a random freaking spaceship in the room, like, like, who does that? I don't know. I was really struggling with cluttering this room, so I just closed my eyes and let the force take me by the hand and let me tell you, everything worked out in the end. See what I did there, the force? Mm-hmm. I think that was pretty funny, but also I'm kind of delusional right now and I didn't really get a lot of sleep, so feel free to roast me the next time you see me. Please, I love it. But Shella, but Shella, why is there a random shrubbery in the middle of your bedroom? Listen, Sims Kid 95, you try to make a build for freaking X amount of hours and then try to tell me why there's no shrubbery in your bedroom, okay? Look, at this point, I think I was very, very sleep deprived. Y'all, I'm not even kidding. I literally did not sleep well last night. I didn't get a lot of sleep, please help me. I think the most important thing is that whoever this steampunk goddess is that lives here, they got nano leaves up on their wall. Do you guys see that? Do you know how expensive nano leaf lights are? It's actually insane. And yeah, that is what you think it is. It's a cupcake machine. I did it. They said it couldn't be done, but I put a freaking cupcake machine in a build. Please clap. 
but guys, it's happening. All I'm doing is placing plants and we are finally about to get to the outside of the build. I've talked about this a lot on my stream, but I've always been more comfortable in outdoor environments than indoor environments. And I'm not sure why that is. I don't know. I just really like landscaping and placing rocks. Boy, can I place rocks for hours. So here I am using one of the new assets that comes in debug. It's these really cute like garden path lining stones. And I actually really love this item. One thing that's cool about it is that they have a longer version and a shorter version so you can make a little bit more detailed curves and edges if you wanted to oh yeah 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 they also have a propeller i i just put it on the house did you see it i think that it actually is animated in live mode i haven't tested it yet so i might go look after i post this video i just can't be bothered to open my sims game right now but i thought that the propeller definitely screams steampunk unfortunately i couldn't change the color i probably would have preferred it to be like a copper i went around and added a few of these canopies here and there it was just a weird situation to try to decide like where to place them so a lot of finicking around i'm very sorry about that um but yeah i then went and i finished and i added another propeller onto the back of the house because more propellers the better and it came with these really cool rocks in debug as well so i wanted to show those off and then they had more plants i'm not gonna lie these plants look a lot like the basic pale yellow flowers that come with base game but they are tagged as star wars debug items so i use them but again, they, they just feel very similar. I was like, hmm, are these just not sized up pale yellow flowers? Uh, but these bushes are also from Debug for Star Wars. I like them a lot. The grass also looked pretty good as well. I just had it briefly and now I'm using it again. It's okay. I was having some difficulties with the collision because Debug items didn't get fixed for the bug of collision with foundations. And then all of the trees that I place on my lot are also from Star Wars as well. I quite like the trees. There are some trees in The Sims that you can definitely tell they're fake, but I think that the trees from the Star Wars pack look incredible. I love them a lot. They have like dangly lanterns and like ribbons and stuff like that, and that just sparks so much joy and I don't know how to describe why. It just does. So now I'm going around and adding some larger flower bushes because whenever you're trying to do gardening or making planter boxes or flower beds and stuff like that, adding variation in size makes it look more realistic. So take that tip or leave it. Gardening tips with Shella. I also really wanted this lot to have somewhat of a put together yet overgrown feeling. And I know that doesn't make a lot of sense, but by that I mean there are places where plants should go, as you can see marked out by the garden rocks, but maybe sometimes they get a little bit lazy and let things get out of hand. So I tried to show that off in my landscaping today. I did see in the comments from the last video that I posted that you guys would like an entire landscaping tutorial, so don't think I didn't see that. I did. I will think about it and put it on my list of things to do, but you guys know how I am. It might take me a bit to get to it, but I would absolutely love to help you guys learn how to landscape. For me, it's more of a matter of trying to put my thoughts into words for you whenever I'm landscaping, because for me, I just like do it. So trying to find words to explain to you guys what I'm doing is a little bit harder than it seems. Also, can we get some love and appreciation in the chat for these ferns? I don't know what it is about them. I really like low lying plants and these ones are super good. I'm going to be using those in a lot of my future builds. You can bet your bottom dollar I will. We come to the end of the video here. I would just like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked the video. I also do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Rochella. I just, I don't know what to say other than thank you guys for all the support, all the subs and all that stuff. And I really did enjoy this build and I can't wait to do more speed builds. I just got to get the hang of it a little bit better, but I promise, I promise that practice will make perfect. I do a lot of builds on my stream and also sometimes I play other games like Planet Zoo, which is also another fun game that I'm thinking about making videos for soon. So come by and see what all the hype is about. Thank you guys. Love you lots and have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.